Hey everyone, in this video we have to solve this system of equations. So the idea is we take two equations and we eliminate a variable and then we take another two and eliminate the same variable. So I'm going to go ahead and number the equations. So one, two, three. Now sometimes it's even easier than that. Um, actually, in this case let's just take these two and eliminate the x and the y. So watch this. I'm going to write them down again. x plus y plus 2z equals negative 4. Then I'll write down the second one, x plus y plus 3z equals negative 6. So the question is, what can you multiply this one by so that when you add it to this one, the x's go away? So negative 1. So we have negative x, multiplying it by negative 1, we have negative x, negative y, negative 2z equals 4, right, because negative and negative is positive. Then here we have x plus y plus 3z equals negative 6. Okay, now we can add. x plus negative x is 0. Negative y plus y is 0. And then negative 2z plus 3z is just z. Beautiful. 4 plus negative 6 is negative 2. Beautiful stuff. So z is equal to negative 2. Okay, z is equal to negative 2. So we have z. So once we have z, we can plug it into uh, another two equations and find x and y. Let's go ahead and plug this. Let's plug into, let's plug it into 2 and 3. 2 and 3. So we have x plus y, I'm writing down 2, plus 3 times negative 2 equals negative 6. And then x plus 9y plus 9 times negative 2 equals negative 50. Okay. So that means we have x plus y, this is minus 6, equals minus 6, and then x plus 9y, minus 18, equals minus 50. Rewriting it again yet one more time, right? So now we're going to add 6 to both sides here. So we get x plus y equals 0. And here I add 18 to both sides. So we get x plus 9y equals negative 32. All right. And uh, the question again becomes, what can we multiply this by? So that when we add it to this, the x's go away. Well, negative 1. So if you multiply that equation by negative 1, you get negative x minus y equals 0. Then you can add these. So if you add these, you get 0. If you add these, you get 8y. Here you get negative 32. So 8y is equal to negative 32. Divide by 8, we end up with y equals negative 4. Okay, so now we have z and y. We just need x. So what we can do is we can plug it into any of these to find x. Let's go ahead and use the first equation here. So x plus y plus 2z equals negative 4. So we have x plus y plus 2z equals negative 4. Let's plug in z and y. So you have x minus 4 plus z is negative 2. So 2 times negative 2, and that's equal to negative 4. Did that right? Let's see. So y is negative 4. z is negative 2. Yep, looks okay. So you have x, negative 4 to 4 is negative 8. That's equal to negative 4. Finally, we can add 8. So we get x equals 4, finally. All right, it's a long problem. These, these take a lot of work, and I went kind of fast, sorry. Um, so we have three numbers, right, x, y, and z. So they go in, they go in that order. So 4, negative 4, negative 2. So that's the point where all of these intersect. So these, this is the equation of a plane. Each of these is the equation of a plane. So you have these three planes in space, and they're all magically intersecting in one little point, and, and that's the point we're getting. Um, so again, you pick two equations and get rid of a variable. We took the first two. We got rid of the x and the y, and we got lucky. And then we got this number, so we plug it into the other two, and then we finished from there. So I uh, hope that made sense.